they got the panacea end all to be all to all our shit go back to the history books dust the motherfuckers off and look at what I'm telling you before it was a bible on this land we had our spiritual culture before there was a Quran written we had our spiritual culture say that again because it looked like I caught a glitch before Abraham was I am that means we was already here we was here before Buddha Jesus or Abraham we was already here get this bullshit out of our mind that these motherfuckers came with the white man's burden to civilize the savage world because we ain't, ain't never been savage on this part of the water not on this land these church motherfuckers is in the way. These mosque motherfuckers is in the way. These synagogue motherfuckers is in the way. So you can call your preacher. You can call your reverend. You can call your deacon. You can call your imam. Your sheikhs. Your Dalai Lamas. You can call your rabbis. Your kohanes. Call all them motherfuckers and tell them that Big Ride said kiss his ass. Because if they not for the people, they not for me. And if they not for me, I'm just as soon to slit they throat as anybody else. So, they came over here Bible thumping under the orders of the papacy. They told them that they would be going to civilize the uncivilized around the world. This is what the church said. This is what the church said. There's one problem with that. You can't civilize the motherfucker who gave you civilization. So while they sitting here passing their basket around for y'all monopoly money that they know is monopoly money and they not doing anything to inform you that you being robbed in the name of Jesus, raped in the name of Muhammad, you being ravaged and pillaged in the name of Abraham. Because the paperwork is the guarantee of the services of those who sign the paper. As long as you signing your paperwork in the name of Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, and Confucius, you signing your motherfucking life away. We talking about celebrities selling their souls. Nigga, you selling your soul every day by capitulating to the devil's system. Devil don't mean no motherfucker come out the ground with no horns on his head, a pitchfork, and a sharp motherfucking tail. That's not the goddamn devil. The devil mean enemy. Your sworn enemy. Those, those who came to undermine you at every turn, they say they will put snares in the wake. They will be liars in the wake, seeking whom they can destroy. These, these are the same motherfuckers. The Quran say we will make evil fair seeming. What the fuck do that mean? So they're going to make the evil look like it's fair, but it ain't. That's how you know it's evil, because it ain't fair. If it was fair, the shit would balance automatically. So fuck your emails. Now, you got these niggas. <clears throat> I'm calling them niggas on purpose. So y'all know that I mean what the fuck I'm saying. And I'm saying what the fuck I mean. Niggas like Bilal Phillips and Siraj Wahaj became uh, <coughs> pseudo Arab. Pseudo Arab emails for one purpose. So they can marry underage kids. And these niggas not saying nothing. Right, they know what they people went through over here when they joined sides with them motherfuckers. The people not the problem. It's these doctrines of idiocy that keeps you in a perpetual state of state of slavery. They don't care if they not ready. These motherfuckers better get ready. They better get ready, cause when they put mother when they put motherfuckers like me in the position of an elder, and my people got to be walking around ignorant to pick the wrong motherfucker to pick the wrong motherfucker. Elders start at 40. Those who become elders at 50 is the worst motherfuckers to deal with because they still got that motherfucking fight like a young lion, right? They got that strength of an old bull and they got the savvy of a wise owl and they will bust your motherfucking ass with the truth. We ain't got to fight. I'd rather fight. I'd rather turn your spit red, push your snot box back and give you some GD shades. I would rather do that, but... My OG, Larry Hoover, told me we ain't, we not gang banging. We brain banging. 
So I'm going to brain bang you motherfuckers into a concussion today on your religious bullshit. Divide and conquer. Y'all keep falling for that bullshit. That's why they don't want us practicing voodoo because voodoo can absorb any of their artificial religions and use that shit to become powerful. You, you niggas fucked up. You didn't let the witch doctor get the book of the witches, the grimoire of the ancients. Crack that motherfucker open and see how to motherfucking draw the power that you niggas been stealing. You religious motherfuckers, artificial, fake ass leaders, blind leading the blind ass motherfuckers. If the blind continue to lead the blind, they're going to end up in a fucking ditch. So they can start digging that motherfucker now. Oh, let me bring, bring Al Sharpton up. I'm not going to even touch on him. I'm not going to touch on that motherfucking perm wearing tight shoot, suit wearing ass motherfucker. I'm not going to get on his case. The biggest problem is these other churches. Your Creflo dollar motherfuckers who tell you it's all about the money. They tell you, I know what Jesus look like, but on this wall, Jesus don't look like what he say. Them the motherfuckers, that's the problem. That, that's a bigger problem than Al Sharpton. Jesse Jackson. Them niggas just don't got a spine. It's a difference. They just don't got a spine. They jellyfish. They can't stand up for no real shit, and they got to wait till somebody else get in some shit in order to show up. Order to show up right so fuck them niggas them impotent ass old motherfuckers they can go ahead and take their limp impotence on somewhere else and lead the people along with the bullshit because this is all what they own now we not here to play games we not here to dance i'd rather be out in the streets with an ak shooting this bitch out but like i told y'all my OG say it's a brain banging game it's not a gang banging thing i i can do it either way fucking with me because i would drag your dirty laundry out ask these motherfucking pre christian preachers why they never told y'all that jesus was isis now they tell you that a motherfucker like me either don't know what i'm talking about or that i'm crazy but they will not confront what the fuck i'm telling you they ask them how is your 2000 year old jesus operating on a 500 year old name and the power post to be in the name so if they can't make that shit make sense, tell them to kiss your ass. Look, the mark of the beast is real simple. It's all about compliance to a rogue system. Those who are conscious and aware will not take that shit. They won't participate because they tell you where they coming from when OSHA, Occupational Safety Hazard Association of America, Refusing to enforce the mandate. Remember this. Under the system that y'all under. Anything repugnant to the constitution becomes illegal. So all this, all this shit is misleading on purpose. Because they figure we gonna stay fools. And they just gonna walk out of here with the whole world. And leave us as just their servants. Oh, no, that's, that doesn't work well for me. I'm not really comfortable taking orders from assholes and motherfucking pedophiles. That means there's nobody in their system that can tell me shit. Blind leading the blind ass motherfuckers. Right? So you got these niggas that call themselves Hebrew Israelites. Now, I didn't want to really get into this with them because they some militant ass niggas. Push this Israeli shit to the end of the earth, but they never, and they call the pale man Edomites. I'm going to show you how dumb these niggas is. They say they from Jacob. And they Esau is the pale man from Europe. All right. Now, y'all following this, I'm showing y'all how stupid they is. All these religious motherfuckers is fucked up blind leading the blind ass niggas. I'm showing it to you right now. Esau was the one with the birthright. So if the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, the black Jews, the nation of Israel, any of these motherfuckers believe they better than the Edomites, them niggas still lost. Them niggas still lost. They still lost because they part of a stolen birthright, a stolen legacy. Then uh, another one of the elders said, they stole it. You must return it. They stole it. 
you must return it. They stole it. How you gonna get it back? Ask your preacher. But ask these niggas. See? Now, as soon as one of them try to do something right, they take them out of commission, and then they use the ones that support the motherfucking cover story of fuckery. They give them a lavish lifestyle. Ain't nobody said better than Malachi. If I can't question you, you can't talk to me. If I can't question you, you can't talk to me. Because if it's above question, that shit is beneath me. Because I'm going to have some questions for your dumb ass. You know? So all these motherfuckers, they want you to just take what they say as the gospel and don't examine that shit. Because when you examine it, it don't smell right, don't feel right, don't taste right, don't motherfucking come across your tongue right. Oh yeah, they, they definitely anti-woman. Because if you look through the Bible, the Bible, they'll have you think that it ain't no women in that motherfucker. The whole Bible is a smear campaign against the divine feminine, flat out, point blank, period. From Genesis to Revelation, the current translations and transliterations is a whole full on all out attack on the divine feminine. From the lie that Eve uh, let the serpent deceive her, she told the goddamn truth. The serpent told the truth. God told the lie, the Elohim or the Elo, on that, no, 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 I love this. this. They say that because Eve it from the tree and gave it to Adam, right? Now, they'll never show you anywhere in the book where anybody told Eve, don't eat from the tree. But they will give you the assumption that Eve was told, but they won't ever show you where the, now watch what Adam, now if, you, if this ain't no attack on the divine feminine, I don't know what is. Adam Punk ass ratted her out as soon as they got caught. Punk ass ratted her out as soon as they got caught. He was the first recorded rat on record. He was the first recorded rat on record. Adam. Uh, the Elo say, hey, didn't I tell y'all don't be eating from that motherfucking tree? That shit gonna wake your ass up to the knowledge of good and evil. He said, what, me? It was a lady. She gave it to me. This bitch you gave me. You coward ass motherfucker. If you was doing your job in the first place, she wouldn't have never been able to be beguiled, seduced. Yeah, they on all that old gay. So all those Hebrew Israelites. You got to kiss the man. All them is priming motherfuckers for gay rights. They trying to see which one got the most bitch in them so they can know who the fuck first. Brother called uh, Kali, Kali an uh, agent in my motherfucking shit. And when I said, how the fuck you going to call this brother an agent? I'm looking at him. His information don't say agent to me. It say indigenous information don't say agent to me. It say indigenous man on the land that ain't buying bullshit. And the answer I got back was that talk about the problem, but don't bring any solutions. Everybody don't got solutions. That don't mean they can't analyze the problem. Everybody not supposed to have a solution. Because if they did, this shit would have been over with. If everybody did talk about the problem, it's supposed to automatically have a solution. This shit would have been done so long ago that it wouldn't even be no need. We wouldn't even be having this conversation today. That's my brother. He ain't no agent. If he was one of them, that nigga locks couldn't glow and sparkle under the sunlight like that. If he wanted them. So I already know who the fuck he is. But just like me. He hard to handle and niggas don't like that shit. Because he just not going to accept anything a motherfucker say. The nigga telling you he ain't black, that mean he ain't part of their game system. He's on the outside of the game trying to tell you black and white motherfuckers that he ain't part of the game. Y'all getting mad calling him an agent because he don't want to play in the game. That shit don't got nothing to do with him. And the only reason why I'm even talking about the game, because it don't got nothing to do with me either. It's because we got people that think the game is the normal shit, and the normal shit is some kind of fuckery. So, 
you, you're not going to allow me, not, not on my watch, we're not doing the divide and conquer. That's not going to work on me. I know how to read people too goddamn well. Not finna accuse me of nothing to him and me, him of nothing to me because we can see too well. We can see too well. We know who is trying to raise the matriarchy so we can have a normal system again. And we know the motherfuckers that's in the way. I done went to them all. I done tried to help motherfuckers everywhere from the church to the mosque to the hospital. I done tried to help them all. But they told me since I ain't had no alphabets behind my name that I don't count. Motherfuckers account me now when I get this done dismantling your holy rolling self-righteous holy indignation ass religions. Make you so righteous now that you got the right to judge everybody else. We not going to judge you, but we're going to apply what you use to judge us to you and see if you can hold up to the standard. If you can't hold up to the standard you judging me by, you condemn yourself. So come on with the bullshit. I'm with the shits. I want all the smoke. But just remember, my OG said we brain banging, we ain't gang banging. That's the only reason why I'm doing this social media, public notice, public access ass shit. So y'all can know that these motherfuckers not finna outthink us. If they do a whole lot of other shit, but they told me to be the thinker, they not going to outthink us on my watch. I'm going to question their ass, and then I'm going to tell y'all how to question them to make them motherfuckers shut the fuck up. Because when the blind lead the blind, all they can do is fall off the cliff. Well, we lost enough buffaloes and buffalo soldiers over cliffs. I ain't the buffalo soldier that's going. I'm not going.